Hello! Welcome to tonight's stream, everybody. Can't remember if I streamed last week. I don't think I did, actually. I think I was just focused on probably cutting up the uh, Nürburgring Endurance Championship edit for YouTube. So apologies for that. I think I just... Uh... Oh, I remember. No, I, I did do a, a run at uh, Spa that night. But I was... Yeah, I was in the Ferrari doing Ferrari fixed. And it was kind of just a lights to flag. Um, at, I was... Little too good for my eye rating, so it wasn't a particularly exciting race. Um, so that was last week, but we have a new challenge this week. Uh, we are in the Porsche Cup now. The reason for that, uh, I do want to get back to rookies at some point. I think I'm going to jump into rookies, maybe Formula rookies potentially next week. We'll see how we get on here. Uh, but the reason for pausing the rookies journey for a sec is because I did the NEC a few weekends ago. Uh, incident count was of course pretty good and that's gonna you know put me well north of the safety rating that I need to jump up a few levels so we jumped up to C which is great and the Porsche Cup is um, will count towards NPR so my plan is to do four races in the Porsche Cup this season as well because that unless I have a safety rating nightmare will then jump us up to B class which is pretty much where I wanted to put the alt account fairly quickly, just so I then have kind of broad access to most of the stuff I may want to run and therefore stream on the channel. So that's the plan tonight. I know Alton, uh, sorry, I know Brands Hatch relatively well. Haven't raced there in ages, never raced the cup car there. I'm not fast, but I don't think I'm terrible for my I rating. I've never actually done a race in the Porsche Cup, and I know it's notoriously... Uh, competitive series which is awesome I've noticed it's a standing start which I'm terrible at so expect to see some places given up on the grid but that's all right and Brands Hatch is a sort of one wheel off disaster into the wall type track so you know I'm really trying to make sure I just tick off tonight for the NPR obviously want to have a decent race keep the safety rating going but we'll just try and drive a relatively sedate race and just hope that my qualifying time relative to the speed of those around me at this I rating is about par. Uh, like I said, in the Ferrari last week, I was I was fast at Spa and Spa is not one of my better tracks, <clears throat> which to be honest, makes sense. Uh, I do a lot of racing in the GT3 cars, but I haven't done much in the Porsche Cup car. So this should be a better balance, I think, in terms of, you know, even only being 1.7k, I suspect I'll be in amongst people similar ability level with this car. So we'll see. Uh, we have 10 minutes of the race. I'm going to go do some more laps. Might do a few practice starts. I've put myself into a uh, sort of quiet server. And I don't know if, uh, if many, well, I didn't know about this for a long time. But I'm just going to show you because I'm going to pull it on screen here. Yeah, oh, oh, there we go. So this is the uh, the entries screen. <clears throat> now, what I didn't know is that when you join any session, you know, when you're joining a race and you put you in a practice, you can actually see the different groups that you're in here. And if you do the drop down, you can see. So there are 16 groups and you can actually place yourself in any one of the groups. So I am the only one in group 13, which means I have a completely clear track, which is pretty handy. So if you ever do want to, when you're practicing, just put yourself, you know, it's an official practice, but you want to put yourself in a group that's entirely on your own. Just open up the entries tab, click group, and then you can see for here, there's a, you know, only a couple people in group one and then just me in group 13. So a useful trick that I didn't know at the beginning of my iRacing journey. All right, let's see where we go. Okay, here comes your first time black. Too wide there, get on the power early. Yeah. Get a tidy rest of the lap after that. Got really struggling to get the uh, my nose in there, which was a surprise. A bit of a 
a sloppy lap, this one. Quite slow lap compared to what I was running before, so I guess we'll see. Well, at least it's uh, a banker, even if it's slow. Yeah, very slow. T1 was bad again, not as bad, but not great. Better this lap, thank God. Well, that's about par for uh, where we're at. There's the flag, it's over. So, let's try and survive this thing. Might be easier said than done. That said, NPR is the main priority, so don't need to overdo it, that's for sure. Everyone's gridded. Green, green, green. Still there. Keep to the left. Just trying to leave plenty of room here. Just want to survive this first left. little bit. Clear on the right. Right side. Clear. So, don't want to give positions away either, so we will find a little where we can. Ooh, this is going to be a bit of a murdering, to be honest. If we can just hold our own here, we're very happy with that. 25.9. Left side. Clear on the left. Well, saw an opportunity, took it. Don't think it was unreasonable. Worked a little bit earlier, if I'm honest. Certainly didn't feel like I had to do anything too special to get in the gap. We'll see if we can just ideally create a bit of space here. Yeah, interesting, really lost touch with uh, both the cars ahead now. The car in P1 just set the fastest lap. 24.9, 26.9. Slow one from us, of course. Oh dear, got greedy, got greedy. And that's what happens when you get greedy. It's such an easy turn in the end as well. Kind of a strange place to go off. Okay, well, now we've got a chance to chase Sergey. Tires are doing okay for a few corners. 
Oh dear, silly silly. Just went in too hot. No need at all for that. Tonight. Right side. Still there. Clear on the right. Right, scruffy, scruffy. Giving everyone a look here now, and we had fresh track. A little silly. I need to find some rhythm again. 30.8 Just lost it for a second. You got a slow car on the right. Car stops on the right. You got a slow car on the right. That car is a lap down. Tricky with this lap car. Okay, let's get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, a really scruffy couple of laps there, mainly by me. Just silly mistakes, not driving properly, losing focus. Let's try and regain it now. Sergey's tail. If we can lose David as well, that would give us a little break. 's this cup car and I'm definitely having a few struggles just the car behind is closing on you the gap is 2.2 seconds right <laughs> so pushing a little bit now we're at 12 place brutal well it started off so well now we got work to do no damage car, car is not damaged though so grateful for that. Basically, just driving beyond the limits of the tyres at the moment. Really, that was all just because of going deep into the hairpin on one lap. It's then caused all the problems after that. The car in P1 just left the fastest lap, 24.8. Not helping our safety rating tonight. We're still making positive I rating here. Due to the fact our IR is quite low. 35.9. Things are looking good. Well, they were looking better before. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Oof. Well, it's been an interesting race. Let's try and keep it on the track for one more lap. 26.4. I think. You know, how I would sum it up is, on quality fuel, absolutely fine. And with early in the race, when there's lots of grip in the tyres, also felt pretty fast. And then, yeah, just made a few mistakes. Probably just put it down to not having driven this car race distance before. And even now, you can see, I definitely don't have the pace to keep up with Dylan now, they're not fighting. On my longer, uh, later laps pace in a race. You've 
got about two laps of fuel. Gave us a little sniff there, didn't he? But would have been too far back. Oh, if we'd had a better T1. Car on your left. Oh, I think we just missed Still that. There, hold your line. There's the flag. It's over. Bring it back to the pits. We're going. Well, that could have been better. That could have been better. But you know what? For a first race in the cup, qualifying in the top ten, yeah, we'll take that. We'll definitely take that. I think we just went too deep here, didn't we? Yeah. Rookie error. But, well, good learning one. And then I did all right for the next few laps. was in the 26s, not particularly quick. And we had another 130. Oh, this might have just been us getting overtaken. Let's have a look here. Lap nine, what did we do? Oh, no, we just watched that one. Sorry. So, yeah, that's... Oh, yes, that was the first problem. Right, the next problem lap was 135, lap 12. There we go. We might have just got overtaken, or did I get it? Oh, I think I got wide. Did I actually spin this fully? Oh, I did. There we go. Right, let's have a look at that. Let's go cockpit, see what we were doing. Oh, just on the gas too early. It's probably taken in quite sharp. And I am almost full throttle at the apex, and then then I go even more, and it's already gone. Yeah, it's gone at that point. Oh, quite happy with my spin. Let's have a look at that outside the car. He's got it turned around fairly quickly. Just going to let the wheels turn there, stop it before the barriers, then off we go. All right, accident two, and then I think that was it for the rest of the race. We were running in the mid-26s, which, not super fast, but not terrible. It's, look at that safety rating. <laughs> because of all that work we did at NEC, it just seems to stay up there, which is pretty epic, which is why I want to get these NPRs done this week, or as soon as I can, really, just to get up to license class B. Right, fastest lap, 124.8. Obviously, we don't have that sort of pace. 125 flat for P2, but a mid-25. You know, that should be attainable with a bit more practice, I would hope. That's kind of where I'd like to get to. Now, our fastest lap was a 125.8. It's pretty similar to those around us, to be honest, so we need to find a little bit more. Yeah, I think the key thing is that kind of mid, well, obviously no mistakes. Two mistakes is a disaster. Without those, we obviously would have finished higher up, but I still think we would have been shedding places, actually, as we went through. I just felt like I didn't didn't quite have the pace in order to um yeah, to stick with the guys, you know, probably after the first four or five laps felt good and then just started to started to bleed off, I think, the speed. But well, we'll take that. We actually managed a plus four despite going off twice, which is kinda crazy for I rating. And safety rating is being held up just because of the NEC run. Hello folks. Little bonus stream tonight. The green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time black. Bit of a tentative T1 there. Too much speed in or poor line, felt like I had to get on the brakes a little bit harder at the end of that corner. I 
Feels okay. Not sure it would be that fast. That's a banker. That's what you need. Absolutely chewed up here, yeah, but that's okay. Happy just to be steady through this early part of the race. Right, P3, bad start, no problem. Let's see if we can just find some pace, get settled here. See where we're fast, where we're slow, where we're average. Last corner was quite slow at yesterday, so I have to keep an eye on that tonight. We focus on his exits here, he would give us a good run somewhere. 26 even. The leader just did a 26.8. Car on. Still there. Clear on the right. Right side. Clear. Oh. That was that our fault could have been, I think. I'll have to watch it back. Uh, it was a bit silly. I fought that hard than I said I would, and that was a little silly of me, because I think he was going to be there. But I did, <laughs> did decide to fight that a touch. Uh, I think I probably should have given that up, if I'm honest. Make sure the car's okay. It's a shame because we were running nicely up there and kind of had the pace to stay, I think. Uh, well, we'll have to take a look. The car looks fine. No damage to report. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed by that. I, uh, I could have backed out of it. That would have been the right call. I'm a little frustrated with myself. 34, even. Key thing now is to not make a double mistake, which is what I did yesterday. Oh well, some interest for the rest of the race by the looks of things. Twenty-six even. Quite a good exit on Norberto there. Not going to make any dive more manoeuvres here. Off he 
goes. A little bit of pressure and off we go. Okay, well that's one down. I'd love to get a top five. How many laps? Ten minutes to go, I think. Chase after these two. Bit of a gap now. Well, it's got a little loose there. That will cost us a chance at uh, any last lap pressure. Shame. Cars ahead. Ah, oh, shame. Look at that. Would have been exciting up there. Twenty-six point seven. You got a slow car on the left. You got a slow car on the right. Go left. Yeah, just overdriving a bit now. Just need to bring it home, not worry about chasing. Yeah, that last corner error, or well, whatever it, whichever one it was. On the back stretch, yeah, Shane would have been nice to have been right up behind these guys. Take a B6, not bad, not bad. Much better than last night. Yeah, we would have been right in the mix if we not made that mistake. Shame. All right, let's kick it flag. Grab a little bit of safety nice rating. But uh, need to figure out how to start. Oh, look at that. Immediate contact. Was that me? To check that out. Did I close it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shutting the door a bit, wasn't I? Oh. <laughs> right, so this was all good. There wasn't too much happening. Basically until the incident, I don't think, right, lap, there it is. So what was I running tonight? Low 126s and one high 25s, so that was also better than last night. That's far more consistent. And look at this at the end of the race. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see this. Let me just pull it over for you. Oh, wrong one, excellent. Oh, my word, got them all stacked up here. Right. You guys can see that now. Okay, so solid lap times. Obviously had the incident, then had a good lap after that, then a bit sloppy. Not sure what that happened on that one. Ended a 125.6 as my fastest lap, which is pretty good. And then it was really consistent towards the end, apart from the last two laps where it's got a little bit loose. But let's take a look at the incident. So yeah, I'm in. Obviously faster, got a good run. I didn't defend, so I definitely opened the door, but I did fancy a run around the outside, so I had to keep the nose in. Ah, oh, he's already gone. I should have given the place up for sure. Yeah, no, that's on me. You know, if I'm gonna try and take that place back, I gotta stay tight to the apex, so all me. Look at that, I'm, I'm drifting here, I think. If we get in the cockpit, wheel is turning. We are not turning, at least not fast enough. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely on me that one, as expected. Annoying. Could have, yeah, just should have given that up. Simple as that. I uh, I decided at the last minute to fight it, and it was just unnecessary. You know, if I'd stayed tight, I might have had a chance, but I just went in too hot. She just went in too hot, and if I'd been in a little slower, I probably would have made it. So yes, no complaints on that one. Oh, safety rating actually went down. Oh man. 
So the NEC, the NEC work is finally wearing off. Okay, well, got a good couple of races out of it before we saw a drop, and they weren't the cleanest. So 25.3 was the fastest. Oh, that was Kane. So he, yeah, he made a spot ahead of David. It's a good effort. And then, oh, there was a big gap then to David. Yeah, I mean, I think we would have had a chance. That's such a shame. Yeah, I mean, I would have fancied myself for sure to have held on to fourth. But honestly, if David slipped back, you know, we might have had a chance there to... Uh, yeah, to get on the podium. But that's that's pretty good. That's a good step up from yesterday, so I can't complain, really. Uh, 59 I rating, very good. 1.8K. Yeah, I mean, we were racing some decent drivers there. 4K, 4K. Yeah. So, you know, held Kane off a little bit, so no complaints. Awesome. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um... I think what I'll probably do is splice these two races together, actually, for the YouTube highlights, and it's a bit more interesting stuff to watch as they weren't the most exciting races. And hopefully I'll be back with a feature length on Sunday, but that is very much dependent on me being able to get some recording done over the next couple of days, so we'll see how that goes. But thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you live next. Uh, I'll be back on next Wednesday. Not sure what we're going to be running. The chance we might be back in the Porsche Cup, but I also quite fancy another run at Rookies, actually, so maybe we'll jump in Open Wheel Rookies or Over Rookies, just have a little bit of fun, kind of get a, get a feel for what that is like, as I've never done Open Wheel Rookies but I have done over rookies and I do remember enjoying that quite a lot when I started out. So thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next Wednesday.